वेलकम एवरीवन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एनसीईआरटी क्लास सेवन ज्योग्राफी चैप्टर टू दैट इज इनसाइड आर अर्थ बिफोर आई स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हाउ आर अर्थ इज मेड अप ऑफ एंड व्हाट इज इनसाइड आर वेरी डायनेमिक प्लैनेट कॉल्ड अर्थ आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस अबाउट द ओनियन येस यू हर्ड इट राइट आई वुड डिस्कस अबाउट द ओनियन व्हाई यू पील द ओनियन यू फाइंड देर आर वेरी स्कोसेंट्रिक लेयर्स same way our earth is also made up of various co-centric layers that is crust mantle and core these all co-centric layers are further divided with the discontinuity now what is this discontinuity discontinuity is the transition zone which divides the one layer of the earth with another like the crust is divided from the mantle through this discontinuity and the mantle is divided from with from the core the discontinuity which divides the crust and mantle is known as moho discontinuity whereas the discontinuity that divides the mantle and core is gutenberg discontinuity now let's discuss about crust so crust is the thinnest and the uppermost layer of the earth crust is further divided into two things one is continental mass second oceanic flows so the crust on the continental mass is known as continental crust whereas the crust on the oceanic floor is known as oceanic crust the continental crust is 35 km deep inside the earth and it consists of cr cr is the short form of silica and alumina si stands for silica and al stands for alumina whereas when we talk about the oceanic floor it is 5 km deep inside the earth and it consists of sima where si stands for silica and ma stands for magnesium just beneath the crust is mantle which extends up to 2900 km deep inside the earth and do you know this layer mantle consists of silicates and iron this is something which is not given in your ncert book okay it is also the main source of magma where most of the magma chambers are found and after the mantle the next layer is core which is almost 3500 km in depth from the radius of the earth okay while we talk about the core it is made up of it consists of two minerals that is nickel and iron when we move from the crust to mantle towards the core the density the pressure the temperature keeps increasing now it's turn to fact time you know The radius of the Earth is six thousand three hundred seventy-one kilometer. Second fact: When we talk about the deepest mine, the deepest mine of the world is located in South Africa, which is about four kilometer deep, and the scientists have dug it in search of the oil fields, which was almost about six kilometer. Now it's turn to discuss about rocks and minerals. The earth crust is made up of various types of rocks. Do you know what is rock? How can we define rock? So rock is an aggregate of minerals or in other words we can say uh any natural mass of minerals that makes up the earth crust is known as rocks. Rocks can be of different color, size, texture, etc. While we talk about the rocks, this can be basically divided into three types. That is igneous sedimentary and metamorphic let's first talk about what is igneous rock when the molten magma comes out on the surface of the earth and it cools down it forms the igneous rock and this is also known as the primary rock you know there are two types of igneous igneous rock intrusive igneous rock and extrusive igneous rock when we talk about extrusive igneous rock when the molten magma comes out on the surface of the earth and cools down rapidly and solidifies itself the rock which is formed in such a way is known as extrusive igneous rock because it is formed on the surface of the earth for example basalt and you know this igneous rocks have very fine grains when we talk about the intrusive igneous rock these are those rocks which gets solidified inside the earth only in when it gets solidified inside the earth it cools down very slowly 
and due to which it has very large grains. Such types of igneous rocks are known as intrusive igneous rock. For example, granite. After the igneous rock, it's turned to gold for the sedimentary rock. When we talk about the sedimentary rock, these are the kinds of rocks which is made up of the broken sed sediments. Okay, let's let me discuss it a little detail. Sometimes what happens? The rocks used to roll over down, hit each other and break down themselves into a very small fragments. These fragments are known as sediments. Now, the, all these sediments get larified on one onto another and makes up the sedimentary rock. Uh, an example of this sedimentary rock can be the limestone. Now, after the sedimentary rock, the next turn is of metamorphic rock. When uh, igneous and sedimentary rock is exposed to great heat and pressure, it turns into the metamorphic rock. For example, marble, slate. Now, it's the fact time. So, do you know the word igneous has come from the Latin word ignis, which means fire. The word sedimentary has come from the Latin word sedimentum, which means to settle down. And the word metamorphic has come from the Greek word which is metamorphose which means to change of form. You will be surprised to know that one type of rock changes to another type of rock under certain conditions in a very cyclic manner and this process of transformation of one rock to another is known as rock cycle. Let me give you a little detail. When the molten magma cools down, it forms the igneous rock. And when these igneous rocks are broken into sediments and further due to the layerification when they form another kind of rock that is known as sedimentary rock. And when this sedimentary and the igneous rock are further exposed to great heat and pressure they are known as metamorphic rock. When the metamorphic rock are further into the great heat and pressure then they used to turn into the magma again. And again the same process continues from magma to igneous, igneous to sedimentary, sedimentary to metamorphic rock, again to the lava, magma, etc. So this is how rock cycle is a never-ending process, okay? It's again the fact time. So you know, sedimentary rocks are the only rocks in which fossils are found. And igneous and metamorphic rocks are rich in minerals. Do you know what are minerals? Minerals are something naturally occurring which has fixed physical property and a definite chemical composition. Okay, so the uses of minerals can be like it can be used as the fuels, it can be used in the industries, you know the gold diamond industries are there, the iron is used in the industries. So this is how we finish our geography chapter 2 that was inside our earth. Hope you liked it. If you found this video instructive and fruitful, do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon next to it so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Do like, share and comment. Thank you and Jai.